This video is a review of the Survey of Statistical Mechanics chapter in Chemical Thermodynamics. So we start by noting that energy is quantized, so a given state of the energy of a molecule is determined by its translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic energy. The translational energy is given by the particle in a box model system from quantum mechanics, where the energy is Planck's constant squared over 8 times mass times length of the box squared times three quantum numbers which represent the energy quantization in the x, y, and z directions. The rotational energy is <clears throat> given by quantum numbers in the x, y, and z direction of the uh, Planck's constant h bar squared times the some quantum number j times j plus 1 divided by 2 times the moment of inertia of the molecule in that given dimension. The vibrational energy is determined by the harmonic oscillator model, which gives us that for all 3n minus 6 vibrational modes, it, the energy is Planck's constant times the frequency times a quantum number n plus 1 half. And the electronic energy is given by the electronic Schrodinger equation, which is determined by the electronic wave function and the electronic Hamiltonian. The Boltzmann factor is what determines the probability of the molecule being in any one of these given states determined by its set of quantum numbers. And that probability is, e, is proportional to E to the minus energy of that state divided by Boltzmann constant times temperature. And this factor here is called the Boltzmann factor, which is proportional to that probability. The partition function is the sum of the Boltzmann factors for all possible states of a given molecule. So we sum over every possible value of every quantum number and sum up its Boltzmann factor gives us the property called the partition function. And the partition function tells us every property there is to know about a given system if we have it exactly. The probability is then the inverse of the partition function times the Boltzmann factor for that state. The average energy for a given molecule is determined by the sum over all the states of the probability of being in that state times the energy of that state. So it's just a weighted average of the, of the energies of all the states, which is also equal to the negative partial derivative of the natural log of the partition function with respect to beta, which is the inverse temperature, which is 1 over Boltzmann constant times temperature. The partition function for a molecule is broken up into these different parts, translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic. And the probability of being in a given molecular state is a product of the probability of being in each translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic state. And the, prob the partition function for a collection of molecules is equal to 1 over the number of them factorial, times the partition function of an individual molecule to the power of n, the number of molecules. Some of these components for these partition functions we can look at in more detail. The translational partition function, where the volume of a box that it's inside of is equal to ABC, sides of the box. We have that the translational partition function is 2 pi times mass of the particle, divided by Planck's constant squared times beta, our inverse temperature that quantity to the power of 3 halves times the volume it has with to translate within. And the rotational partition function we can look at, which is 8 pi squared times moment of inertia divided by inverse temperature beta times Planck's constant squared. And the moment of inertia for a diatomic molecule, for example, would be the reduced mass mu times the bond length squared r. And the reduced mass, if you have two atoms of mass M1 and M2, is M1 times M2, their product, divided by M1 plus M2, their sum.